Hello, and thank you so much for watching Provost Podcast. I am so happy that you're here. Make sure that you have the subscribe button clicked before we get started because that way you don't miss a video of ours. We do all things Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland Paris, Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm, cruises, and even different travel destinations from around the world like Iceland or Hawaii. So whatever you're looking for, you can find it here on our channel and we would love you to stick around, get comfortable, and become Disney or travel pros with us. Okay, so today my video is going to be all about the top 10 souvenirs that you can find at Disneyland. Disneyland has some awesome souvenirs. Now, when I'm looking for souvenirs, I really want something that is practical. I want something that I'm going to be able to enjoy in the parks or really enjoy and use when I'm at home. I don't want something that's just gonna go sit in a drawer and I'm gonna forget about it. And so when I kind of came up with this list, these are things that you can wear in the park, you can use in the parks, or you're going to enjoy when you're at home, I don't want these souvenirs to go to waste for you guys. So this is a list for you, for your friends, for your family, and even your children. There's a lot of stuff in this list that kids are going to enjoy as well. Now, my tip with the souvenirs is to actually get them on your first day. There are a lot of things that you're going to be able to use in the park, so they're going to be entertaining your kids, and you want to be able to use it and enjoy it or wear it when you're at Disneyland, because then when you get home and you're like, I didn't even wear my Mickey Mouse sweater. You want to wear it when you're at Disneyland. You don't want to be on the very last day and not be able to enjoy your souvenir. So that is my first little tip when you're souvenir shopping. If you see it and you love it, buy it right away so you can enjoy it on your vacation. All right, number 10. We are starting out with something classic and something very solid. That is Disney clothing. So Disney clothing can be found all throughout the Disneyland Resort and they have truly something for everyone. So my go-to place to find really just classic Disney clothing is on Main Street. Cause on Main Street USA, you have that Disney like castle themed clothes or Minnie Mouse themed clothes or you know, the cute Mickey Mouse themed clothes or the cute like Disneyland solid clothing. That is what you're gonna find on Main Street. And they have sweaters, they have t-shirts, they have jackets, Jackets, whatever season you're in, whatever you're looking for, they're going to you're going to be able to find it. Now, the clothing item that I see the very most walking around Disneyland are actually spirit jerseys. And I love spirit jerseys. Spirit jerseys are the oversized uh, long sleeve shirts with the big, huge lettering on the back. And they are cute because they come out in a variety of styles and they change all the time. And my favorite spirit jersey is actually the black spirit jersey with the big white lettering. So I have this style and from multiple different places. I love these ones because they pop. It stands out. To me, if I'm getting an article of clothing, I want it to say where I'm at. So I want it to say Disneyland if I'm at Disneyland. I want it to say Disneyland Paris if I'm at Disneyland Paris because then it kind of proves that you were there, right? Like anyone can be walking around with a Mickey t-shirt, but you wanna be able to prove like, hey, I was at Disneyland or, or wherever you were. And so for me, the spirit jerseys are fantastic because they scream in your face, you've been to the Disneyland Resort. And another really fun thing about shirts and, and clothing items is whatever is going on in the parks, you're going to be able to find that in a clothing style. So right now I saw a lot of Oswald, you know, Oswald, the lucky rabbit, he even came before Mickey Mouse. And it's because Disney is celebrating their 100th anniversary as a company. And so it's really fun to see, you know, go way back a blast to the past to have a lot of Oswald stuff. So you're gonna see different clothing, different merch items, depending on the season and what's going on in the parks. Now, if you're looking for specialty merch items, you're going to find them in the different lands. For example, right out of Star Tours, you of course have a lot of Star Wars themed shirts and outfits, right? If you're in Adventure Land, you're gonna have a lot of like Indiana Jones Explorer type outfits and shirts. So depending on what land you're in, they are going to be themed for that different land. But again, I usually do my clothes shopping right on Main Street because it's kind of a mix of everything and they always have the classic stuff. All right, number nine. And these aren't in any particular order. I'm not counting down to my favorite thing. It's just how this video worked out. But I want to know what your favorite Disney souvenir items are. So if you see something that you love and you just want and you just gotta have it or something that you gravitate to when you're in the parks, let me know in the comments below. Like I kind of want to do 
you know, let's do a vote. So remember the number that I talk about and vote on it. And I'm gonna see like, are number 10s winning? Number sevens, are they winning? Number one, is that gonna win? And I'm gonna tell you, number one is my least favorite thing ever. So if number one wins, I'm gonna be angry, but let's vote on it. So if you see a souvenir item that you just love, that you gravitate to or something that you just want so badly, leave that number in the comments below. All right, number nine, this is home decor. Now I am actually super, super picky with the home decor that I have in my house from Disneyland. One of the questions we get asked the very most is what home decor items do you have at Disneyland? And I feel almost like, oh, it's not super like thrilling to show you because the things that I have around my house are more under the hidden Mickey of sorts. It doesn't scream Disney. It's not in your face. Like, you know, black and red and yellow. It's, it's not screaming in your face, Mickey Mouse. But if you look closely at it, you're like, wait a second, wait a second. There is a Mickey on that dish towel or wait a second. There are little Mickeys on that mug or wait a second, that, that blanket, that, that's from Disneyland. So that is the, that's the home decor items that I go to. And there are a couple places where you can find some of these really pretty neutral home decor items at Disneyland. And one place that's really easy to get to is at the very, very end of Main Street. Walk past the Christmas shop and into the China closet and they're all on the left-hand side. And we're talking everything you could imagine for your home. We have cereal bowls and popcorn bowls and plates dish towels, which are just so, so cute. They have serving dishes, mugs, really beautiful mugs with, with little Mickeys on them. Oh, they're so cute. I mean, really anything you need for your home, it's there, but these items from far away, they don't scream in your face, right? They're not like screaming in your face, Disney, but when you look closely, you can see it. And I love having things from Disneyland in my home because there is a little bit of sadness when you leave the parks, when you're done with your Disneyland vacation and you get home and you get back to reality and you're like, I just want to go back to Disneyland again. Oh, but look at this, look at this cute little dish towel. It has this little Mickey on it. I got this at Disneyland and it really like brings in some warmth and some Disney magic into your home, which is exactly where you want that Disney magic to be. There's really nothing wrong with having those Disney items in your house. I really can't see anything wrong with that. It's just all good. They're, it's just all good. It's just all good things. But can you see when you pull back, these items don't scream in your face, Disney, or scream in your face, Disneyland, a little different than say like uh, Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad here. And there's nothing wrong with Mr. Toad mug. If you want to get the Mr. Toad mug, get the Mr. Toad mug. But there definitely is a difference, right? There's a difference between getting like this beautiful pink mug with little Mickeys on it and animal mug, which, which is fun too. I mean, sometimes you need those mugs. Sometimes you need those screaming in your face Disney items and that's okay. Uh, you can have it. If you want it, you can have it. Me personally, I just like the more neutral, subtle uh, household items. And there goes the chipmunk. All right, number eight on my must have souvenir list at Disneyland are pins. Now pins, the reason why pins are so great is because it can turn into a huge interactive activity that can really just suck you in and become super, super addicting. So while I'm not personally into pins, I know a lot of people are, and I know people that are into pins find a lot of joy into it because you can do pin trading events. Like you can trade pins for things, which is super interactive with people, or you could try to collect certain pins. Like if you're really into Disney princesses, you can try to collect a bunch of the Disney princesses is for your pin book collection. So for me, while it's not necessarily like a souvenir that you're going to use all the time, just the fact that it can be so interactive, it can be a game, it can be something that you're trying to collect, that for me is definitely, definitely worth it. All right, so there are quite a few different places that you can buy pins. One is right off of Main Street. It's a teeny tiny little shop, but it is packed full of pins. And these pins, I mean, they have everything, you guys. They have Hercules. They have Aladdin. They have Big Hero 6, which my son loves Big Hero 6. They have cute Mickey and Minnie, like lovable pins. I mean, so many things. Anything that you're into, if it's Disney related, they have it. Now, I got such a kick out of this. I cannot, I, I couldn't even believe my eyes. I was like, what is this? I, I talked to the cast member about it for about 20 minutes because I just could not believe my eyes. I was like, what am I seeing right now? And what they have right now, a little specialty pin item. There are um, succulents growing out of the pins. 
gosh I was like what is this at first I was thinking like oh my gosh is this like Disney's twist version of the last of us I mean things are growing out of things heads and I was like whatever it is I, I don't even know but I love it and I'll take it but they're succulents so you can buy those cute little like succulent plants with like the little mickeys on the little pot and it's very very cute right and they're they're fake but it's it's a cute home decor item and, and they're adorable well they've kind of taken that and they put it into these pins so you can have Mickey Mouse's head with a succulent growing out of it. I'm not kidding you guys. This isn't a joke. This is real. And it's awesome. Like to the point where it almost got me into pin trading to the point where I almost bought every single of the succulent pins. Yes, there's more, right? It's not just Mickey Mouse. They have a honey pot, you know, Winnie the Pooh, a little honey pot with a little succulent growing out of it. They had Stitch's toy, which to me seemed so like random and rare. And it had a little like succulent growing out of it. You guys, like this is, this is unreal. This is so cute. This is so stinking cute. And get this, like this isn't even the end of it. Each little like succulent plant is different. So when you look at the, like the little Mickey, the 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 leaf like the sprout is different than when you look at like the little stitch toy it's like teeny 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 tiny and then when you look at the honey pot it's different like all the little leaves look different like the attention to detail is truly phenomenal and it's truly incredible and it was just so cute so I didn't get my opportunity I, I left the shop to continue out my day and I was like I'm gonna come back I didn't get a chance to go back and pick those up but they were so awesome and it was so original and it was so cute it was to the point where I was like I, I need that. Like, I, I want those. I actually want to collect every single succulent pin that they have because this is so creative and this is so awesome. So they, when I say they have something for everyone with these pins, they truly have something for everyone. All right, we're now to number seven. Now remember to vote. This is number seven. So we talked about uh, succulents growing out of of a head. <laughs> but let's talk about things that you can put on your head that isn't a succulent growing out of it. So let's talk about hats. Let's talk about Mickey ears. You're going to see lots and lots of people walking around the Disneyland Resort with uh, Disney hats on or of course Mickey ears and the possibilities here are also endless. They have so many things. So you walk into Disneyland, go to the right tunnel and then after the great moments with Mr. Lincoln, you're going to see a shop called the Mad Hatter. I mean so cute. What a cute play on words. And this is where you're going to find an awesome variety of hats and Mickey and Minnie ears. So I love Disney hats. I wear Disney hats at the at the park all the time. It's a great way for me to keep the sun out of my face, but I also just think they're adorable. Maybe you're having a bad hair day and you just want to put a hat on. You cannot go wrong with a Disney hat, but they have everything. I mean, they have turning red. They have cute, adorable uh, pink hats. They have blue. They have Star Wars hats. They have just Disneyland classic. Whatever you want, they have them with hats. They have bucket hats. I mean, different styles of hats. Hats, 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 hats. Now, if you want Mickey ears, which are so popular, I mean, ears at Disneyland, they've sold so many, so many Mickey ears. They're probably the most popular souvenir item. I know they used to be. I wonder if they still are. I bet they still are. But I mean, where else can you just wear like mouse ears on your head and walk around and have it be completely normal? Nowhere else but at Disney Park. So do it, do it, because everyone else is doing it. And it's it's actually a lot of fun and they're very, very cute. They have all different styles for you, for your Mickey ears. If you want mini ears and you just want that classic, like, you know, red and white polka dots, they of course have, have those. They have lots of different themed ears that you can choose from. They have beautiful princess ears. They have Star Wars ears, so like little lightsabers if you're into super into Star Wars. And they have very, very expensive ears. So if you have an expensive taste and you want to splurge on your ears, right now they have ears that are $60. Yeah, yeah, not $16. $60 at the Lion King ears and they're very beautiful. They're they're very bedazzled and, and they're gorgeous. But yeah, they, they're 60 bucks. So if you want to splurge on your ears, you can splurge on your ears. If you want classic, they have classic. If you want Star Wars, they have Star Wars. So really just go crazy with whatever you want, whether it's a hat or ears, something fun to put on your head. Moving on to number six. Number six must have souvenirs at Disneyland. And this has to really do with kids. What's well, Disneyland? There's a lot of kids. I have a son who loves to go to Disneyland. And so I've had my experience with what souvenirs really work and what souvenirs don't really work so much. So souvenirs 
for kids at Disneyland are fantastic because it can really help to entertain them and keep them preoccupied if you're waiting in a long line or if you're waiting at a sit-down restaurant like Cafe Orleans or Lamplight Lounge and, and you need something that's kind of fun and quiet and new but is keeping them entertained. I mean, I'm someone that personally, I try my hardest not to give our son the phone when we're waiting at a restaurant or while we're waiting in line. I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures, but if there's any way for him to be present and engaged with the experience of Disneyland, that is what I love. All right, so I'm gonna take you on Main Street. The Main Street shops are really awesome because they have those like really standard uh, Disney souvenirs that are just, they're easy to find. And one souvenir that you're going to see the very most, I feel like the kids playing with at Disneyland are the bubble wands. Now, I know some people love to hate the bubble wands because you're walking in Disneyland and you're like, oh my gosh, like bubbles in my face. There's bubbles everywhere. But I mean, it's Disneyland, right? It's for kids and bubbles, like bubbles aren't gonna hurt anyone. And bubbles entertain kids to no end. Like they love it. So for me personally, as a mom, I am all for the bubbles and I actually love them. I feel like walking down Main Street or, you know, walking past a ride and just seeing bubbles float by, I feel like it adds to the Disney magic. And again, this is a toy that will seriously keep kids entertained for hours. So lots of different bubble wands for you to choose from. They have little mermaid bubble wands, they have Mickey Mouse bubble wands, and it comes with the bubbles. And so you're really able to grab them and go and give them to your kids and your, your kids are gonna have a blast with them. Other souvenir items that I found are good for kids are plushies. Like they have um, doll plushies or they have little Mickey Mouses, something that your child can kind of hold on to. They might be, you know, maybe your kid is a little nervous to go on a ride, but when they have that little plushie in their arm, it tends to soothe them and, and they're able to kind of like hold on to that tightly and have that courage kind of come out from that plushie and, and onto the child so then the child can ride the ride. So it's like, hey, well, Mickey Mouse is going on this ride and, and he'll come with you and they, and they feel like they have a little buddy. So plushies for me are, are really great for kids that just want something to squeeze, something comforting to hold on to and something soothing to hold on to. I don't go for the huge, huge plushies because playing with those in the park, it's just too much. They're gonna get dirty. It, it's just too much. You don't want to carry them when the kid is done. Something kind of smaller that's easy to put in a backpack, but to pull out when the child wants to play with it or wants something uh, comforting to hold on to. Now, something that has actually been really, really, really entertaining for our son are the cars. So there's a lot of different little Disney cars that you can find. There's one that's like Toy Story. We got our son the Mickey Mouse car when he was like two or three years old, and he still has it. He's now six, and he will still play with it. And it's fun because he can play with it when he's waiting in line or when we're sitting down eating he can kind of quietly drive the car around so it's surprisingly entertaining and it's so small it's so easy to fit in a backpack so I love I love the Disney cars and then another kid souvenir that you wouldn't really think is a ton of fun but it's actually provided hours and hours of entertainment for our son are the Mickey pens so the Mickey pens they're so cheap right that's so easy they're so small they'll fit anywhere but we have Mickey pen and a Mickey notebook and our son will doodle and draw on it so if we're waiting in a super super long line I'll tell him you know write a story about Disneyland or draw Mickey Mouse or he can be entertained drawing something and where this really comes into handy is when we're eating at a sit-down restaurant and it's taking a while to get our food, we can pull out the net, the notebook, we can pull out the Mickey pen and he can draw a picture or we can play a game on it or he can write his own little like Disney story. You know, we tell him to write a little story and he'll write a little story and draw a picture with it. So surprisingly easy, cheap souvenir to entertain kids with the Mickey pen. And it's so fun because the little like Mickey head bobbles around when they play with it. But a Mickey pen, a little notebook and bada bing, bada boo, you're great to go. We're heading over to Tomorrowland right at the exit of Star Tours. And this awesome Star Wars themed shop has a lot of great things for the Star Wars lovers. But the souvenir that I love is the Create Your Own Lightsaber Station. I love this because this is a lot cheaper than the huge lightsaber experience that you're going to get in Galaxy's Edge, which I've heard is phenomenal. I've heard it's spiritual. I actually haven't done it myself. It does cost a lot of money. So this is why this one is on my list because I have done it and it's a lot easier easier and it's a lot quicker and it's a lot cheaper but it's something that kids and adults can like 
because it's an activity that they can do together and you can truly create your own and customize your own lightsaber. So right at the exit of Star Tours, you're going to see the, the lightsaber, create your own lightsaber station. And you start from the bottom up, you're able to choose your handle, you're able to choose what color lightsaber you want. And it's just a lot of fun. So my son and I did this. I still have my lightsaber. I chose white and he chose blue. We were able to play with it when we're at Disneyland carefully, of course, but I just loved it. It was, it just seemed like a really fun family hands-on activity. And those lightsabers haven't just gone in the closet and have been forgotten about, which again, that's a huge thing about me with souvenirs. I don't want them to go to waste. Those lightsabers are toys that my son and his friends use all the time. So they'll grab out the lightsabers and they pretend like they're Luke Skywalker and they're running around trying to defeat Darth Vader. And it's a toy that he's used a ton at home. So for me, just having the experience of building it together, having the fun times at Disneyland with those lightsabers, and then something that they can play with here at home is great. Another thing to consider with the really expensive lightsabers, I feel like if you get it, you really want to keep them nice. You want to display them. These create your own lightsabers in Tomorrowland are, I mean, I want my son to play with them. I'm not worried if it's going to get broken. I want them played with. I want them interacted with. So that's another difference to consider when you're doing, okay, I want the full on lightsaber experience versus just this fun little create your own and take home a souvenir that can really be interacted with and played with. Darth Vader, he doesn't stand a chance against my son's Disneyland lightsaber. Do you, Vader? Hey, have I told you yet that you are amazing? You are amazing. You are magical. And I really hope you know that. If you're going through a hard time right now, take a deep breath with me. <sighs> Transport yourself to your happy place, which is probably Disneyland. And just tell yourself that you are doing a fantastic job on this earth and that you are absolutely incredible. And I'm so happy that you are here watching this fun Disneyland souvenir video. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you ready for our next souvenir? Now, I personally love this one. This one might be number one in my list because it's very personalized and it's very special and it's something that you're going to love at home. And that brings us to number five. So number five on my must-have Disneyland souvenirs is a caricature. Now these caricatures, I know you see them, you walk by them all the time and you're like, oh, that's cute. But you're like, I don't want to sit and have my picture drawn or like, oh, I don't really know how I'm going to get at home. Disney has thought of everything with these caricatures. And even more than having myself drawn is they can do your pets. You guys, we just did this for our dog Cabo and it was so cute. My heart just exploded into a million pieces. So what you do is you go see our friend Kimmy located right across uh, the blue by you in New Orleans Square and you can airdrop a picture of your pet. If you have a dog, if you have a cat, they will transform your pet into an adorable cartoon caricature and you can leave. So while she's drawing your pet, you can go have dinner at Blue Bayou, come back, check out your animal. You're just going to die over it. You're going to, it's going to make you want to cry. And then let's say, oh, well, I want to go ride Splash Mountain now. I'm not able to pick up my picture because I don't want it to get soaked. They think through all of that. You're able to get your picture at the end of the day when they're done closing up or when you're ready to leave. That way you can just take it back to your hotel and take it home. They also have frames for sale. So we got ours framed. That way I felt like our picture was super, super safe in the frame. This is just a simple, beautiful black frame. And we have cobbled now drawn forever and that picture is above our fireplace so I see that picture every single day it's one of the pictures that I see the very most in our home and it's just so cute and it's so personal so for me this is probably my number one souvenir and that's a caricature at Disneyland all right let's move on to number four number four with our Disneyland souvenirs so this one to me is it's kind of a, a gray area for me in terms of Disneyland souvenirs. And I'm going to tell you why. There's parts about the souvenir that I just absolutely love. And there's other parts where I'm like, oh, maybe this isn't quite my favorite. So this is popcorn buckets. Now, if you've been around Provost Park Pass for a long time, you know that I am completely obsessed with Disney popcorn. Like it is a complete obsession. Whenever I smell Disneyland popcorn, it's like, I need it. I need to have it. And it's something that I truly love. Like I just love the taste of Disneyland popcorn. I love the smell of it. I love the popcorn carts. It's one of my favorite parts about Disneyland is the popcorn. I absolutely love it. So that brings me to the next souvenir item, which is a popcorn bucket. 
but I'm kind of, I'm divided on this one. I'm, I'm kind of mixed on this one. So Disneyland will have awesome, like specialty themed popcorn buckets. We have one that's a uh, Halloween time Mickey. I have Steamboat Willie. We have Monsters, Inc. Sully. Um, we have a, uh, Chris's mom has a Cinderella carriage from Disneyland Paris, but the, these popcorn buckets can be the cutest thing you'll ever see. However, right now with Disneyland, if you get a popcorn bucket, you don't get refills. And so this is something that you really need to consider, right? Like I feel like if you really, really, really want the popcorn bucket and if it's just absolutely adorable and if it's something that you will display at your house, then I say go for the popcorn bucket. And I mean, you do get popcorn with it and the popcorn is delicious. And so you do get, you do get popcorn with it, which is awesome, right? Like that's an awesome perk. That's an awesome perk. But you definitely don't want to gather and collect a bunch of popcorn buckets that are just going to like junk up your closet and things that you're not going to use. But if you have a place where you want to display your cute popcorn buckets and you're going to be able to enjoy them at home, that's when I would recommend getting a popcorn bucket because you can enjoy the popcorn. Doesn't come with refills, but if you're going to enjoy it at home, see it and remember your trip to Disneyland, then to me, that's worth it. But this one kind of goes over to the, oh, is it just going to end up as, you know, junk in your closet stage? And, and that's why I'm, I'm a little bit divided with popcorn, but I love popcorn, but I don't want it to junk up my house, but I love popcorn. Oh, and my Steamboat Willie is really, really cute, but I love popcorn. And oh my gosh, I actually really love my Halloween time Mickey. So it's one of those things to consider when you're at Disneyland. Hey, we're almost done with our list and I do not want to get to number one because I actually don't even want to talk about number one, but but I have to and, and we're gonna get there. We're, we're getting there whether I want to or not. But let's talk about number three. All right, number three on my list is another one that I kind of am divided about. I feel like it's, it kind of falls in the same category to me as popcorn buckets. It's one of those things that you can really love and you can really enjoy, but then at the same time, it's not always so practical or, or reusable. And so, and so I go back and forth on this one. And that is the collectible Coke bottles. At Disneyland right now, you can get in Galaxy's Edge the really, really, really adorable uh, thermal detonator Coke bottles. Now, I know these aren't as big of a deal as they used to be because Galaxy's Edge has been open for a long time and so people are kind of used to them. However, we got a Sprite and a Coke and a Diet Coke thermal detonator Coke bottle that we have on display on our Disney shelf. And it actually brings us so much joy when we see them. So when you go into Galaxy's Edge, you can order one of these Coke bottles or Sprite or Diet Coke. They come freezing cold. It is delicious to drink, especially when it's really, really hot in Galaxy's Edge. So you have that delicious, oh, that delicious, so sweet soda. And it's so yummy and so good. And then you get to keep the bottle. Now, this is where I get divided on it. You don't want this to be something that again just junks up your closet and that you're never going to look at and you're never going to care about ever again but if you have a place to display it they really can look really cute lined up on a shelf I mean they're round they're round little coca-cola bottles like it's adorable it's very 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 cute all right now let's talk about our number two souvenir at Disneyland and this kind of has to do with number three so let's say that you don't like coca-cola you don't want Diet coke you don't want sprite you don't want a little round coke bottle that you're never going to use again and you're just going to display on a shelf if you want something that you can drink out of that's going to be a lot more reusable you're going to get a lot more mileage out of it the next souvenir is a sipper or a tumbler or a bottle that you can reuse now these are sold all over disneyland i like to find mine on main street because they have a lot of different options for you to choose from they have these adorable adorable uh sippers and they have awesome little tumble tumblers and they have really good reusable bottles that you can fill up and they have the lid on them. Now it's another great thing because then you're not going through a bunch of plastic bottles when you're in the park, you have your reusable bottle and you're going to want to have it filled up. You're gonna have it with lots and lots of water because you do not wanna be dehydrated at Disneyland. And having a cute bottle is just a lot of fun because it just reminds you, hey, I need to drink water and it's just a lot more fun to drink water from something that's really, really cute. So for me, these bottles, the reason why I like them is again something that you can use in Disneyland you can reuse them it saves on plastic and then you can even use them when you're at home so when you're going back to work and you're filling up your water bottle for the day you see oh it's from Disneyland and it, it will bring you back to your happy place when you're back home or at work or back into the swing of things after your vacation so bottles and zippers for me 
Mm, that's a great souvenir. There are also some places around Disneyland where you can purchase them with a beverage in it. So then you're really getting like a double whammy. Like you can get something that you have a fountain drink in or you can put coffee in and then you get the fun souvenir bottle to take home, but you also had a drink to go along with it. All right, everyone. Now we need to talk about the number one, but it's not really the number one. It's just the number one on this list because of how it turned out and because I didn't want to talk about it and I've been putting off talking about it and that is pressed pennies. So if, if you've been with Provost Park Press for a while, you'll know that I hate pennies. I hate coins. There's just something about them and they're just, they're small and dirty and that metal and it's just like, bleh. but I, I I can put myself aside for a minute and talk about the souvenir because it is super, super popular and people really, really love them. And I can see how it can be fun. It can be a collectible item. It can be an activity that you could do with yourself or your spouse or your partner or your loved ones or your, or your children. And so for that, I love it because it can really be that interactive fun game that you can have at Disneyland. You can have little books to collect the pennies. There's different penny types throughout the park that you you can get it's fun to press the penny and, and fill up your little booklet and then see all the little pennies that you've collected and then when you go home you're able to to go through the book with your friends you know the kids go home and they show grandma the cool pennies that they got so for that interactive element that's why I think it, it really is a good fun souvenir now I didn't even go around and film the penny machines because it just grosses me out too much the best way to describe my problem with coins is you know most people have a problem with spiders right so if someone came to you and put like a handful of spiders in your palm like you would probably be Wah! like Wah! freak out right that's how it is for me with coins if someone came to me and put a bunch of coins in my hand I'm like Wah! I'll freak out. So I couldn't even go around and film the penny stations because it was just too much for me. It's just, bleh. but we have a full pressed penny video that Chris did. And this is a fantastic video. So I highly recommend checking that out if you want to learn more about the pressed pennies at Disneyland. And that is my top 10 list of must have souvenirs at Disneyland. Again, be sure to vote below if you like number seven or you like number three, or you can vote for multiple ones. I'm going to be skimming through the comments and see like, okay, I'm seeing a lot of number five so I'm seeing hopefully not a lot of number ones but it might happen <laughs> no I'm just kidding really vote for whatever you like I would love to hear from you or if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments below I would love to answer your questions if you get a response from Provost Park Pass that's me that's me responding to you personally now if you have more questions or if you want to be part of our private community you can join us on Patreon it is a private closed community and just for three dollars a month you get an extra video every single week where we answer are everyone's questions. These are the most valuable videos we actually do because they're really personalized to you. We answer every single question you have about trip planning, about different theme parks, about cruises, whatever it is, uh, food you need to eat at Disneyland, really whatever it is, we're going to answer it. So just join us. It's patreon.com slash provost park pass. We would love to have you join our private community and it is incredibly positive over there. So if you want a community, if you want to uh, hear from people, People that love Disneyland like you do or love traveling or love other theme parks like you do that is a place to go because everyone is loved and accepted and welcomed over there and if not just have a wonderful week Mwah! you guys are fantastic thanks for watching bye bye